Okay. Um, morning, everybody, um, and thanks, Augustina, for the invite. I really appreciate it. Um, and to hear more about all the work that your team have been doing, um, it's fantastic. Um, my name is Ruth Hunter. I'm based in the Centre for Public Health at Queen's, um, and I've, I'm a professor of public health and planetary health. So I'm going to do a very quick um, <coughs> overview of a project that we've been doing over the last couple of years around um, a systems-based approach to reducing car dependency in Belfast. So um, I apologise for the, for, the, for the speed of this. What I will do is a lot of the resources and reports that we have done are all online, and maybe some of that um, might be useful to, the, to feed into the work that you will do as part of this workshop. Um, so um, just so we're all on the same page, when we, when we talk about car dependency, we're talking in particular about high levels of, of car use and car travel, um, and that our cities, and in particular Belfast, has been very much locked into a, a heavy car use design, and also that it reduces the possibilities for other modes um, of travel. Um, and why do we think this is particularly important? I've highlighted here just a, a number of um, areas and potential benefits um, that we know um, we will uh, achieve if we're able to reduce car dependency and car use in Belfast. So things around improved air quality, reducing um, noise pollution, and we've heard quite a lot of it already this morning, um, increase in our physical activity, which we know has a, a whole range of um, health benefits, um, reducing uh, road traffic um, collisions and casualties, reducing inequalities and also reducing the amount of public space that could be used for other things other than cars. Um, so just to uh, set some context um, for Belfast and Northern Ireland, so an average of 80% of journeys by car in Northern Ireland, uh, an average of 80% of our journeys in, are, are by car in Northern Ireland and this compares to 63% in other parts of the UK and even less at just 50% um, um, in Ireland. And if we look over the last 10 years, we really haven't seen any change um, in terms of the levels of walk and cycle, cycling and public transport use um, in Belfast. It's sitting at around 24%. It's still sitting at around um, 24%. So we really need to do something um, to, change, uh, to change our levels of car use and promote these other um, more health beneficial um, levels of walk and cycling and public transport use. So what did we do? This was a project that was funded by the Medical Research Council and a particular um, uh, funding stream that they have called the um, Population Health Intervention Development um, Fund. So if anyone's interested in finding out more, we've kind of published the, the protocol in terms of the different methods that we applied to this. And this was very much taking a systems approach. So we know that it's not just going to be one magic bullet that solves the issue of reducing uh, car dependency and, and shifting our modes of travel in Belfast. It's going to be several. It's going to be several things, several policies, and several programmes. Many of which you'll discuss later on in this workshop. And what does that mean? It means that it involves a range of different stakeholders from all sorts of uh, uh, different um, sectors. It involves the local community voice as well. It's based on system science, so as I say, it's not just one single approach uh, or one single intervention or policy that's going to solve this. Uh, and it means that we all need to work together um, to do this. So we had a kind of seven different tasks that we undertook. So right from um, a stakeholder network analysis to try and really understand <coughs> who are the organisations and the voices that need to be involved in this conversation and how do they work together? Are they working together or who really should be um, working together? Um, then we did a review of the evidence uh, to see, well, what's worked elsewhere, what's been cost effective elsewhere, and, and what might be, we be able to adapt um, for Belfast. Similarly, with a policy review, so looking at the range of policies um, across Northern Ireland, in particular um, in Belfast, uh, to get a sense of where, where, where things are going and what is planned. And a series of interviews with a, uh, with a range of stakeholders, again, to try and unpick um, what some of the potential um, levers and barriers are. Um, then we did a piece of work, it's called group model building, and that's really um, a series of workshops where we get a range uh, of these different stakeholders in the room to, to start to really discuss where they're coming at, where, where they're coming from and their different perspectives on the problems, how they're, what programmes and policies they have to try and resolve this. And really then we start to disentangle, well, who, who should be working together here and who do we need involved in different programmes and policies to make this work better? Uh, 
a survey, it's called a discrete choice experiment, and this is really looking at different types of trade-offs, and this was with um, 700 um, car users in the Belfast metropolitan area, and this is presenting them with a range of different policies and programs, and asking them to make these trade-offs uh, between these different policies and programs to see if we get a sense of um, which, um, which policies and, uh, and programs might work best together, and where there's more kind of sense of um, appetite uh, from the from car users and the general public in, in terms of some of these maybe more controversial policies. Then we had a citizen jury that Augustina and others and Cali and different ones were, were part of last October where we came up with a range of recommendations. So we have six recommendations and I'll highlight those in a moment. And then this very end bit where we kind of bring this all together and go, okay, here's what we found, here's what people are telling us, where do we go next? Um, so that's kind of an overview of of the plan uh, of the project. Um, so I'm not gonna go through lots of this uh, in detail given, given the time, but I just wanna point you to some resources and I'm sure Augustina will make these slides um, available. Um, so this is a piece of work that we did um, creating what they call this causal loop diagram that's really looking at the interactions and how different factors impact on each other um, around car use. So we've got issues here around this collective car oriented um, mindset, other issues around public transport use and active travel that Augustina highlighted, and other issues such as the costs of alternatives to the private car. So this started to map out what were some of the kind of um, drivers around um, car use and to help us understand how some of these different factors were kind of impacting on each other. And then another part of this work was then to, with this group of stakeholders, to start to think about what we call these priority actions. So looking at this map of um, potential um, factors, what policies and programs should we begin to, to think about um, to, to start to kind of um, influence and, and, and adapt that system. So um, some, of the, uh, some of the suggestions that came out were around reallocation of road space, around um, car parking strategies, 15 minute neighborhoods, and other things around congestion charging and um, incentivization for public transport. And some of these then we went on to test in the citizen jury. Um, so I'm just highlighting these as two, uh, as two um, kind of outputs that were launched a, a couple of weeks ago at a webinar that we held. So we have the policy report that was led by Professor Brendan Murda in urban planning, which really gives a, a really nice overview of the different um, policies around um, transport really in Belfast and Northern Ireland and starts to unpick um, what they're doing and how they're really starting to address um, car dependency. Um, and then we had the citizen jury um, report. So this was a piece of work done with, um, with Involve, um, say where we, we took um, a group of um, 20 um, car users in the Belfast metropolitan area who were very much representative of the, the general population in that area. Uh, and really over um, two days, um, a very in-depth discussion around, well, what, the, what are the issues of um, car dependency? Why, should, why is this a priority for Belfast? And, and what, what is acceptable or what, what should we look to do um, to try and uh, combat this? Um, so these are, these are the six um, recommendations that this group um, came up with that we presented um, to local authorities and government last week. Um, and you'll see here there's a whole range um, of different um, uh, strategies that they came up with. So um, one was particularly around, we need safe, accessible, reliable and affordable public transport network that's properly resourced. That was number one. Uh, the next one was particularly around housing that Augustina mentioned as well. So we need fast track um, planning decisions to support long-term, sustainable, affordable, accessible city centre housing. Um, there was uh, a lot of conversation particularly about the school run and how do we begin to decrease that car dependency around our school runs and, and a lot of that's um, centred around the school itself and the facilities um, in the school as, as well as um, how people get to and from school. Um, cycling um, was mentioned particularly around a network of um, cycle um, and dedicated cycle lanes. Um, there was also uh, a recommendation around edu education, around why reducing our car use is important ar around a whole range um, of, of different factors and also around, well, how do we incentivize actually reducing car dependency and car use? So these were the six recommendations uh, that our citizen jury put forward. 
So I'll just wrap up by thanking the um, project team and acknowledging their work. You'll see we have a whole range of uh, different disciplines who've been involved um, in this work. Our various project partners, including Belfast City Council, um, TransLink and um, Involve. Um, and just to uh, acknowledge the funders, um, that's the website where we've got all the different resources that we've um, produced from this work. And if anyone's interested, um, please get in touch. So enjoy your day. Unfortunately, I have to run off. But um, thank you, Augustina, and I really hope you have an enjoyable day. Thank you. Thank you.